All right, guys, welcome back. We are in the sixth season of Lonzo Ball's career. Let's check this out. Uh, let's take a quick update on Lonzo. He's a 91 now. Markel Fultz is a 90. Ben Simmons, 89. 88. 81. 81, 81, 80. 79. This team is cold. They have depth. Okay, let's take a look at Lonzo. All right. Um... Let's see, game highs, 46 points, 12 rebounds, uh, 20 assists, 11 steals. Damn, that's crazy. 11 steals. Okay, so Lonzo, Lonzo got the assist. He was the assist leader last year. Yeah, okay, so he got the assist leader last year. Let's see if he can keep that up. Let's see if he can get that streak. That's pretty freaking wild. He's just on a good-ass team. The Sixers are a great fit for him, actually. Even with Marco Fultz as a backup, that's kind of weird, but, I mean, I guess it works out. Lonzo's ring is coming soon, okay? Lonzo's ring is coming soon. He's going to get that ring. He has to. This Philly team is way too good not to at least get to the finals. <laughs> They're just freaking stacked. Ball, oh, it's so weird seeing Lonzo in a Sixers jersey. The dish, the ball. Holmes has a screen. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. A confident win and one where they clearly Travel. showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Yeah, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. Thank you for joining all right, we are at the end of the season. Russell Westbrook, of course, the MVP. Expected. Sean Long. Dick Fletcher. Okay. Oh, for once, Lonzo is not first team. Got the all-defensive second team. Okay, cool. Philly finished first place. Oh, going up against the Cavs. Okay. Um, I want to see. I want to check Lonzo's ranking real quick. Oh, check that out. KD with Indiana. Steph with. That's weird. Steph with Golden State still. Anthony Davis. Okay. Who is this? It's ranked fifth in the league. Okay, Lonzo's now ranked under than Fultz. And Irving's with Brook. Oh, I'm sorry. He's with Spurs now. Huh. Okay, but Lonzo's, he's just. I think he was already at a 91 before. So he backtracked a little bit. Five-time All-Star. I'd like to see Lonzo get an MVP. That'd be crazy. He needs to get an MVP. Okay, but their team... Their team is still so stacked. They have two 90s, 89, 86, 82. Their team is so good. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see if they can make it to the finals. Playing the Cavs. Here we go. First game. Oh, don't tell me you're about to, they're about to lose. Oh, they lost in game seven to the Cavs. They lost to the eighth seed. What? Are you kidding? Who's even on the Cavs? LeBron? Yo, LeBron, Tristan Thompson, Kevin Love. They don't have anybody really. What? What? Man. They lost in the first round. That's trash, fam. Trash. Come on, Lonzo. I thought you were better than that. Dang. How do you do against them in that series, though? 13 points about average. 5 rebounds average. Like, 10 assists average. Not even. Come on, man. <sighs> Lonzo, what the hell? Yeah, their team choked. 
Bruh, how does a team like this suck in the first round? I don't understand. <laughs> how did they blow that? Golly. Alright. Damn, that's trash. Chicago. Okay. Chicago got that dub. Damn. Okay, well I was expecting I was expecting them to go a lot further than the first round. I was expecting them to go to the fucking finals. Um maybe next year. Damn, okay, here we go. Alright, fast forward to the next season. Here we go. Lonzo, okay, Lonzo made a good decision by leaving LA. They were not doing anything. He's on another good team now, but they can't get past the first round of the playoffs. But they're the first seed. I don't I don't get it. That's that's Philadelphia. Their franchise is cursed. So I mean, kinda makes sense. If it's not injuries, they're just choking in the playoffs when they get there. Alright, we're in the next season. Okay, Philly! Alright, Fultz 91, Lonzo 91, Simmons 89. 86, Steve Leonard, 82. Okay, Jamal Murray, Rashawn Holmes. Okay, they still have a stacked team, okay? Now, granted, they do have a couple really shitty players, but that can't out. Look, they have Michael K. Gilchrist. They have this guy who looks cool. He's white, he probably shoot. Um, but. Their team is good, okay? Those those few bad players can't outweigh these solid starters and these role, role players. So anyways, all right, let's go ahead and let's get this show on the road. And welcome to the end of the season. We have Vitaly Popov as our MVP, should have been Lonzo. But we also have Clay Farmer as a rookie of the year. We have Eric Clancy. We also have Vitaly Popov again. Should have been Lonzo again. And we also have Wally Bowen, most improved player. Wow! Hold up. Somebody from the Lakers actually did something. Very impressed. Okay. Logan Schmidt, coach of the year. All right. Lonzo, back into the NBA first team. Let's go. Lonzo, let's go. All NBA first team. Da 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 Dick Fletcher. Um. Uh, Dude, Dick Fletcher is my dad. I don't care what you guys say. Philly with that number one seed again. They're playing Brooklyn, so they better stomp that ass. No, fuck that. I'm looking at power rankings. They got Philly. All three sources got Philly number one. Okay? They better go to the finals. Come on, Philly. Here we go. Simulate current round. Money. Sweep. 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 Alright. D'Angelo Russell. Showed out. Lonzo. 30 points. 7 assists. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. First round. Done. Finally. Made it past the first round. Here we go. Celtics. Second round. <clears throat> Sweep again. Okay. Now we're seeing the team that I thought they were. Celtics, Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum, Aaron Harrison, Andrew Harrison, Marcus Smart, Thomas Bryant, Jay Crowder, Jalen Brown, Tim Hardaway Jr. So this team, they, they're decent. Markel Fultz, 18-6-7-3. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Here we go, conference finals. Oh, they made it to the finals. There we go. A Lonzo, 20 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Okay, moment of truth. Number one seed against number one seed. Here we go, Dallas and Philly. 
Here we go, fingers crossed. Going for the ring. Oh, shit. Without a challenge. Ben Simmons with the finals MVP. Okay. Okay, Lonzo got himself a ring. And it wasn't with LA. That's kind of heartbreaking. But, oh well, at least Lonzo got his ring. Alright, we are heading into Lonzo's eighth season now. He's doing pretty damn good, I must say. A lot better than I thought. Um, he's got, he's still at a 91. But this man is putting in work. He's got a ring. He's got six time All Star. Um, and he's got a bunch of like, he's got four time All NBA first team. Uh, first time All Defense twice. He's doing pretty good. Let's look at his uh, career stats. So he's averaging for his career 18 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists. He needs to get his assists up. 10 assists, that was his peak. Uh, he definitely needs to get that up. He's heading into his peak years. Hopefully he can get that up. If he can get 10 assists, that'd be pretty awesome. 48% uh, 40, from the field. He's got in, in, eight, in 7 years, he's got... 10,000 points, 2,000 rebounds, 5,000 assists, coming up on 2,000 steals, which is pretty good. That's actually a lot of steals. So yeah, he's he's lived up to the hype, I think. This team's just stacked with number one picks. Oh shit, and they have Kyle Kuzma. Hey. They have Kyle Kuzma from Utah. Nice. He played two years with LA, went to New York, to the Clippers, Toronto, to Memphis, now to Philly to play with Lonzo. Oh man. Oh, that's awesome. The light skin reunite. All right, here we go. Back to a new season. Question is, can the Philly 76ers repeat? Can they go back to back? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I think they can do it. I think they can definitely do it. The Sixers are. Let's check these power rankings real quick. Uh, fucking, all right. Let's check the standings. Yeah, Philly is still ranked first place in the power rankings, so I don't see why not if they can stay healthy get another ring man, that's so weird to see Lonzo getting rings with Philly though, that's just weird but I mean, hey, at least he's getting the rings so let's see can he go back to back dang, this guy got MVP again, this guy's good shit come on Lonzo, I want to see you get MVP come on Lonzo I want to see that MVP mentality. Dick Fletcher. Lonzo. Getting that first NBA team. He can get MVP if he wants to. Come on, Lonzo. You got a ring. You need to get that MVP award. Alright, moment of truth. This is the moment right here. Check out the games real quick. Moment right here. Hey, you got that 10 assists. Keep that up. 10 assists. Three point percentage is not bad either. People thought his shot was gonna be shit. His percentages say otherwise. All right, how many games? And Lonzo, he's been pretty durable throughout his season so far. He missed three games in the 21-22 season. Missed missed 14 games here. Um, 12 games there. He he hasn't missed many games. He's been pretty durable. All right, here we go. Kyle Kuzma and Lonzo Ball. About to see another ring right here. All right, simulating this round. Bam. Sweep. Got that sweep. 
That's crazy to think that Markel Fultz and Lonzo Ball are teaming up. That's so weird. And Ben Simmons. Kyle Kuzma putting in work. That's so weird to me. Alright, here we go. Washington. Oh, barely. Barely got it. Almost that triple double. He almost got it. It's just hard for Lonzo to get MVP just because the team he's on. If he was with the Lakers, maybe if their team was a little bit better and it could actually make the playoffs, then he could win MVP. But with this team, it's going to be tough because he's playing with like three other potential future MVPs. It's just hard. Oh, they're getting blown. Oh, but they made that comeback. They made that comeback. Oh, shit. Durant had 51. Still was not enough. Michael Beasley. Dang. Thad Young. This is a pretty good team as well. Mainly because of Durant. 51. That's crazy. Lonzo with 17 assists. Damn. Here we go. The Spurs and the Sixers right here. Here we go. Back to back. What's up? Lonzo with the finals MVP. There's your first MVP. Now you just need season MVP. Damn. 17 points. Three rebounds. 12 assists. Almost three steals. Four turnovers. <gasps> oh, shit. Look at that bottom headline. Julius Randle decides to join the 76ers. Okay, so Lonzo Ball gets drafted to LA Lakers. They don't do shit. I guess throughout the first like four or five seasons, they eventually like lost some of their key assets like Jordan Clarkson, Julius Randle, Kyle Kuzma. Julius Randle has just now signed a contract with Philly. Yes! Lonzo got the MVP! What's up? Yes! Yes! Lonzo, your MVP! Hold up. He's got two rings, an MVP, a Finals MVP, Rookie of the Year, multiple first team and second team defenses and NBA first teams, NBA teams. Lonzo's lived up to the hype so far. No doubt about it. 17 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists, almost 3 steals. He's pretty much been averaging that, though. So, I don't know. That's pretty good. Lonzo got MVP. That is crazy. That's clutch. Okay. That's clutch. They didn't even finish first seed this year. Indiana got first seed. Indeed, KD's coming for their asses. All right, first round. Here we go. Once again against Washington. Go home. Second round. Orlando. Go home. Oh shit. Popov. This is the guy who's been winning MVP. No, not this guy. No, this guy's just been getting. Uh, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Anyways. Um, okay, never mind. Indiana just, they got put out by Chicago. Who's Chicago got? This guy. This is the guy I was talking about. Yeah. There's two of them. There's two. There's two pop-ups. That's why I got them confused because there's two of these guys. What the heck? This is the guy who's been winning MVP. Okay, that makes sense. There was a dude over here. <laughs> There's two of these guys. That's so random. That's 2K with their computer generated players. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. The MVP. Who's got it? Oh, barely game seven. Oh, by a point. Barely got it. Oh, man. Fultz stepped up, though. Fultz saved their asses. Bobby Portis out of Arkansas. Isaiah Thomas. 
Denzel Valentine, Brandon Ingram, Jaleel Okafor, Rudy Gobert, Zach Levine, Nikola Meritich. This team is stacked as well. All right, once again, we have a back-to-back -back game with the Spurs and the Sixers. This is a rematch from last year's finals. Let's get it. Philly. They just three-peated. God. They just three-peated. Kyrie Irving, Gary Harris, Malik Monk, Jordan Bell, Kawhi Leonard. Dang.